Hello, my name is Lena and welcome back to my channel. It's time for my August book. I wanted to say book haul, but no. It's my August wrap up. Well, I read 10 books in August. That's quite a lot, but I didn't read all the books I was planning to. So, August was nudes. I finished my nudes. I read all seven books to pass all the exams I needed for my magical career. That was a librarian. So, let's look at the books I read last month. I'm gonna look at my reading journal. Here is August. I started with there was a readathon weekend cram that I failed. I didn't finish any books for it, but I started one. I read Misbehaved by Katie Cayley. Mm, you could check my vlogs out because that was such a disappointing read. I didn't like the relationship. The plot was really similar to the other book by the author I read that, that was misunderstood. So I really didn't like the book. I just hated the characters and how their relationship was and yeah, I don't really want to talk about the books I didn't like that much, but yes, it was a really disappointing read. So let's move on to next book. That was The Little Witch by Otfried Preisler. I read this for nudes. This was for my A in the History of Magic. This is a children's book, as you can see from the cover, and I really like this one. It's about this little witch that at the beginning of the book goes to this witch thing that happens every year, and she's too young, so she's not supposed to go, but she's like 120 something years old, but she's too young for that. And she gets caught and she gets punished. She has to walk home, they take away her broomstick and then she has, she will have the eva evaluation one year later, so she has to be a good witch. And the book is about how she does the things that she thinks good witch has to do. And she has a little sidekick, a crow. Was it a crow? Yes, I think it was a crow. But yeah, this is a really lovely children's book. The next one I read for basically readathon. It was 24 hour readathon hosted by basically Brit and like you have to read a book that's been on your TBR for a really long time. So I finally finished the book I had on my currently reading shelf on Goodreads since February, and that was this one. It's my friend Martin Schreiman. It's, it's a biography, and I kind of hated it, but I didn't like it because of the way it's written and the way how the person is shown there. I don't like... I know he wasn't perfect or anything, but it's like this book makes him even worse. That's how I felt. But yeah, I like the inserts of pictures and mentions of songs and concerts 
it made me want to listen to the music and I remembered the concerts I went to and this book made me cry because he died at 33 years old in 2011 and he was the lead singer of the band I loved. Yes. I still remember the day he died. Really, really well. The next book I'm going to talk about is Empress of a Thousand Skies by Rhoda Beleza and it was for A in Defense Against the Dark Arts and it's this one. There were two perspectives. One was this princess who like goes on a run because there was attempt to kill her and she knows who did it so she starts her mission to kill him the killer of her family and attempting to kill her and the other perspective is this guy from reality like tv show and i kind of was confused about that side and the ro romance that was there I felt it was unnecessary and too insta -lovey. And yeah, that's kind of ruined the ending a bit. And this is the first book in duology and I'm, uh, I don't know yet if I'm gonna read the second one. We'll see. But yeah. Oh, I didn't say that it's like a sp set in space. Next book I read was for ancient runes and it was for an A and it, this is my grandfather was a cherry tree by Angela Nanetti it's an Italian author and it's a translation of course and this one is the library book that I think I already had to return but I'm not 100% sure and this was really lovely book. It's a uh, middle grade, I think. So basically children's book. And it's about this boy who tells about his grandparents, mostly about his grandfather from mother's side and his adventures with it. And how diff different those grandparents are the ones who live in the city like next to them and the ones who live outside the city in a countryside and it's a really lovely story about the relationship between generations and it's a heartbreaking story a bit but nevertheless i really like this book and then for e in history of magic i read Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo and I read the first book at the end of last year and I remember the book was okay but this time reading I enjoyed the second book much more than the first one I don't know why, maybe because I was in a better mood for fantasy or something and I think I had quite low expectations for the book since all I heard, almost all I've heard about the book is not so good. A lot of people tend to not like the Grisha trilogy and especially the second book. There wasn't a lot of action, yes, that's I uh, that I can agree with, but still, I don't know, I liked it. It follows Elena and Mal on their journey and they meet the Nikolai uh, that's the one I have heard so much about that it's people's favorite character and I can understand why people love him that much he was a really great character I like them him the most from all the characters there was in this book and I didn't like Mal he was so annoying and his jealousy is like too much he just doesn't trust her at all 
but yeah I don't know how, what to say about that book but I liked it more than I expected then the next book I finished was for E in Defense Against the Dark Arts and it was Slidosha's Katniss or Moving Stairs, Sliding Stairs by Agnes Zarane and it's a Latvian author's YA it's about a girl, 18 year old girl she in her last year of high school changes school and starts like moves with her mother to a big city from a really small town and it's about her last year in school about friendship about like relationship with your parents and i didn't like it i couldn't relate at all to the characters i kind of thought that i will relate to them more since it's happening here in latvia in riga but my high school experience was nothing like this I wasn't interested in getting drunk at parties, whether they were in school or outside the school, like these kids. I didn't like that the relationship with the mother, it was problematic, it was, was difficult, they had their issues and they weren't resolved. It just was left hanging. I don't know, I just didn't like it at all. I hoped I will like it, but didn't happen. The next one I read for O in Ancient Runes, and it was an individual history by Michael Collier. It's a poetry book, and you might know that I struggle with poetry, especially in English. But this was better than the previous I read. I didn't understand all of it, but the, I like this one better than the last one. It's kind of... the title says it's, it's like a history. He talks about events and things like in his life. I don't know if it's like in a chronological order, but I kind of like poetry that has rhymes. And when you have this flow in the writing, but I missed it here. And when it's like so big and I kind of don't like when the sentence ends in the middle of a line. I find it really, really weird. And the last book I finished in August was for E in Ancient Runes and it was It Was Snowing Butterflies by Charles Darwin. And I actually enjoyed this quite a lot. This is like entries from Darwin's diary where he talks about his journey to, I think it was America. South America more from what I remember I wanted there to be a map in the book so it like shows where he, his journey I know it, this is like a small one it's like just three little sections of places but yeah it was really interesting to read about his first impressions of the world of nature and animals and people that they meet there. At the beginning they are on the ship and he talks a lot about sea creatures and bugs that he's surprised that they are so far from the shore and about the butterflies. It's like right at the beginning this phrase, it was snowing butterflies and I really really love the title. It has nothing to do with dead butterflies falling. There was just a lot of butterflies flying and one of his like crew members 
said that it was snowing butterflies and yeah that's how the phrase came well yes that's the last book for nudes these are all the books I read in August. I'm so glad I finished my notes, but I had to change two books from uh, my initial TBR because I really, really, really wanted to finish. And if I hadn't changed them, I would have failed because I didn't read for one week at all. I had a vacation and we went on a road trip and I didn't have time to read then. This is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment in the comments down below telling me what you've read or if you have already read any of these books. Please <laughs> like and subscribe if you like what you see. And I see you in the next video. Bye!